Hello, beautiful being of light. Welcome back to my YouTube channel with your host, Emily the Mystic, here with another galactic guidance video today. However, technically, the group that I'm bringing forward is not necessarily a Starseed Galactic group. However, many of us have connections to them. And so they came through very strongly as I was sitting down to get ready to film this video and thought it would be important to introduce them to you so that they can share some messages with you to get you ready for the new year ahead. So without further ado, I introduce my fairy guides, my fairy, fairy spirit guide team. We are working with higher dimensional fae here today. And many of you, especially if you are attracted to my YouTube channel and my content, Many of you have a connection to the Fey lineage as well. You may have had fairy past lifetimes yourself, and this video is meant for you. That is you. You may really feel this in your body. You may feel some tingling, or you just may just feel a sense of ooh, openness and ready to receive during this video. So I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. As always, all information in this video is channeled directly from my spirit guide team. I am an Akashic Records expert, practitioner, and teacher, and a galactic channeler. And during the, this galactic guidance series, I don't plan anything. I don't take notes. I simply sit down. I ask who would like to come through, what they would like to talk about, and then we get right into it. So we're speaking with the Fae today, and they are a higher dimensional Fae species. There are many different species of fairies out there, including elemental earth fairies. That's actually not who we're talking to today. <laughs> so this is a high, 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 high frequency group, um, specifically ninth dimensional consciousness. And we are speaking with my main liaison with the Fae, whose name is Priscilla. So Priscilla is going to be speaking to you today through me, and as always, with any channeled information, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And the purpose of this, the intention behind it, is to help us prepare for the new year, as 2024 is going to be a bit of a catalyst year that's going to help kind of skyrocket our growth, skyrocket the vibration of this planet. It's going to be a bit of a transitional year, so many of us may see some change, both externally and internally. So this their guidance today is going to help us prepare for that during these last couple of weeks of the year and also as we head into the beginning of January as well. So without further ado, I'm going to take a moment here to bring Priscilla forward. She is so excited to speak with you today. Ah, hello. Hello, Priscilla. Thank you. Oh, okay. Where would you like to begin? Hmm. So here we go. It's holiday season. If you're watching this video as it's being released live and in the midst of the holiday season, it there can be a lot of crazy things going on. Maybe you're really busy. Maybe work is piling a ton of stuff on you and maybe you just have a lot going on. However, Priscilla and the Fae want to remind us to put an emphasis on fun and having fun and having a good time and play and returning back to remembering who you were as a child. And that childlike joy and innocence that, that came from the holidays. Whether you celebrated Christmas or other holidays, there's a certain magic to this time of the year because it brings about this whimsical sense of believing in something outside of yourself. Believing in magic. Believing that anything is possible. And... Believing that you can manifest anything that you want. Because when you were a kid, if you celebrated Christmas, you were 
probably wrote a Christmas list or you asked Santa for something that you wanted and you would go to bed on Christmas Eve and wake up the next day and perhaps the present that you wanted was waiting for you there. And how special is it to be able to put a request in to Santa and to receive it, to see it waiting for you under the tree? And Priscilla wants to remind us to return back to that vibration, to return back to that childlike sense of wonder and joy when it comes to thinking about how we live our life. We can be in the energy, the vibration of asking, surrendering, and waiting to receive during the course of our adult life. What would it look like for you if 2024 was a year of manifestation? What would it look like for you if you really allowed yourself, gave yourself permission to dream big and to manifest everything that you've been desiring so far in your life? What would it look like for you if that's what your focus was on this year? Not on external things such as what's going on in the world or worrying about what's going on at your job or stressing about just the challenges of life. What if your focus was on the joy of manifestation? Just like it was as a kid. When you were a kid, Yes, you were asking Santa for things on your Christmas list, and you were likely also in school. And as you were, you put in your request to Santa, as you're waiting for Christmas Day, you still had tests to take, you still had homework to do, you still had projects to turn in on time. Maybe you did that, maybe you didn't. But still, you had to be taking action in your in your life, and the result was receiving some really special gifts on Christmas morning. So what if this was not the only time of year to receive gifts? What if you could give yourself the gift of believing in yourself as an expert manifester when it comes to the new year? And not even just the new year, but right now in this moment as you watch this video. Again, what if 2024 could be a year of quantum manifestation for you? What would that change in your life? But here's the thing. It starts with belief. And for everyone right now who's watching this video thinking to yourself, well, life is really hard for me and... There's so many things in my life that are going wrong and I wake up every day and I feel awful and I just don't know what to do next or I've been waiting and waiting for my life to change and nothing is changing and you just feel like you're in this really down place. Your next step is to start believing. Now, the way that I see belief and the way that Priscilla wants me to help you understand belief as well is that belief is a multifaceted concept. Not only do we believe in something outside of ourselves, such as in a higher power, but we also have to believe in ourselves in every step of the process as well. Belief is an internal concept. It's also an external concept. So no matter what you're going through in life right now, the first step is to start believing. Believing that life can change. Believing that things can turn around for you in the new year. And believing that you're so worthy and deserving of all of it. When we're kids, we don't think about whether or not we are worthy of receiving a present. We just ask for it. We just, we write, if, and, and I am speaking for those of us who did grow up in a household where we did have the privilege of being able to receive gifts. Maybe your childhood was different, but as a kid, you ask for gifts and you don't question whether or not you're worthy or, or deserving of receiving them. You just ask. And that's something that we 
fall away from as adults because we start to compare ourselves to other people. We start to see what other people have that we don't have. We start to see that other people are smarter or more successful or better looking than we are. And then we start to question our self-worth. And then we start to question, well, am I deserving of this promotion or not? Am I worthy of having the love of my life or not? And it's in that comparison that starts during our teenage years, that's where we start to fall off from this inner sense of belief and worthiness. So Priscilla wants to remind us to return to the belief system that we are inherently worthy and deserving just for being here, just for being alive, just for making this journey here to planet Earth. It's not about who you are, where you come from, what you do. And by who you are, I mean the family you were born into or the circumstances that you were lucky or not lucky to receive. But it is about your essence. It is about you. Without all of that external stuff, you are worthy and deserving of receiving just by being your true self and just by being yourself even if you haven't fully discovered your true self yet and that's okay so i want your i want you and priscilla wants you to take a moment to close your eyes and in this moment now we're going to take a moment of quiet space to allow for them the guides to drop in a meaningful present that you received during the holidays as a kid something that meant a lot to you and something that really changed things for you, something that brought you joy. So allow that memory to come back of that present and let that memory from your childhood rush back into your body of the excitement and the joy that you had in receiving that present what it felt like to open that under the tree. And how it felt to know that someone, Santa, whoever it was, selected that gift just for you. I want you to take a moment to feel this in your body. You manifested that. (laughs) You did that. You created that because you asked for it. And because you're alive, you are worthy and deserving of receiving it. And I want you to take a moment to feel this and hold this in your heart so deeply. And to know that whether it's this gift that you got as a child or meaningful gifts you've received as an adult or things that you're working on that are on your manifestation list, you can call all of those things into your life. You can manifest them all. I want you to sit with the pure joy of that. Hey, if I could manifest this toy as a kid, I can manifest this new car, this promotion, this amount of money as an adult. Of course I can. If I just asked for this thing and it just showed up under my tree, yeah, I can I can do that now as an adult. Just sit with this for a moment. And then when you're ready, you can take a moment 
and open your eyes. And that little exercise was meant to return you to the frequency of joy and miracles during the holiday season and to help remind you of your powers as a being of manifestation. That manifestation is not a new concept that you have just learned now as an adult. It's a way of life that's been a part of you for a long time, perhaps even longer than you remember. I know for me, what I just received, I was doing that with you, which surprised me. And I almost got emotional because uh, I was brought forward a memory of receiving a pair of ice skates as a kid. And that just being such a cool present because it meant that I didn't have to wear the sweaty ice skates at the local skating rink. It meant that I had my own pair and I could go skating whenever I wanted to. And they were beautiful and white and just so pretty and made me feel so girly. And I loved that. And I didn't have to do anything crazy to receive those ice skates. I simply wrote a letter to Santa. (laughs) And I went to school and I did my best, but I wasn't perfect. I definitely made mistakes. And I still received those ice skates under the tree. And so let that memory remind you of how powerful you are as a manifester. And I'm not talking about the human design manifester. I'm talking about all of us having the gift of manifestation. No matter who you are, where you come from, you have manifested so many things in your life already. So this is not a new concept. This is not a new thing for you. (laughs) And how can we take this and apply this to 2024? How can we take this and apply this to the new year and the days and weeks after watching this video? By being in that energy of belief. Believing in ourselves, even knowing that we're not perfect, we're not going to get it all right all the time. And still showing up and still taking action in the way that we know we need to. But knowing that there's going to, believing in that higher power, whether it's Santa or your parents when you were a kid and now maybe as an adult, it's God who's delivering these manifestations to your doorstep or it's coming through in the form of your spouse buying a gift for you, or your employer delivering the raise, or wherever you're receiving your gift, your manifestation, right? We can practice that every single day. And again, it starts with belief. So how can you return back to that belief that you had as a child of knowing that everything you wanted most things perhaps you would receive in some way shape or form maybe you wouldn't get all of your gifts but the important ones you did receive i think you're getting my point here and so now we're going to do a brief exercise for 2024 so i want you to take a moment and close your eyes again and i want you to Bring to mind something that you are working on manifesting that you would like to have in your life that feels really good, that would feel really just incredible if this is a part of your life. I want you to bring that visual to mind now. And we're going to request that you be activated to the energetic frequency of belief in this now moment, to call belief into your body and to believe that this is possible for you. That there is a divine source orchestrating things in your favor to receive this manifestation. That you are worthy and deserving of having it just for being here, just for being present and alive on this planet. And I want you to see this manifestation in front of you and just really Hold the energy, the joy that would come from having it for a moment, the freedom, the abundance, whatever this manifestation would bring for you in your life.
And I want you to say to yourself, either internally or out loud, I believe that this is possible for me. I believe that this is possible for me. I believe that this is possible for me. And now we're going to ask your guides to show you, share with you, what's one small thing you can do after watching this video that will help you receive that manifestation even faster. Allow that piece of guidance, that intuition to come through now. And I want you to bring a smile to your face, knowing that this is possible. Knowing that by being in the energy of belief, you can create anything that you want in your life. And knowing that you can return to this vibration anytime. So when you're ready, you can take a moment and open your eyes. How does it feel to believe? <laughs> And I'm going to take a moment here to see if Priscilla has anything else to share. She's saying, I believe in you. And the Fae, the fairy guides, believe in you. You can create anything you want this year. The world is your oyster. The possibilities are endless. And just when you think that it's not possible because of blah 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 everything your human mind's creating right now i don't want to hear it do not comment below <laughs> on this video the possibilities are endless and i want you to tune into that frequency of possibility and belief that another reality another option is going to be available to you you just don't know what it is yet your human mind just can't figure it out and that's okay but we're going to believe that it's all going to work out Try it and see how your life changes. And that's my little holiday manifestation message for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you like this video. Comment below it resonated with you. Subscribe to my channel for new videos every single Wednesday. And I will see you next video. Bye for now.